Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Thursday, August 11th, 2022. So things are, are going pretty much as, uh, in, well, not pretty much because we had this these big gap ups, but what I was looking for, we had the bearish divergences uh, on the 15th. So I had said I, I wouldn't be surprised to see selling hit uh, any time in the early stages of it. We made it in between the uh, R1 and R2 from the morning notes. And then from there, for the S&P was up some 25 points and closed uh, down three. So the best way that I have this as far as a wave structure, I kind of moved it because you can see right here with the momentum. Uh, let me just move this up a little bit uh, right here. So you can see right here, like this is where the divergence is that you're able to trade. So this was most likely to wave three. And then uh, right now, what's going to happen is we're going to come down. Anywhere, like what I was looking for was a test of the 40, 41, uh, 88 area or possibly even coming down to the 4158, making the wave four and then having that final wave five up. And that's the wave that we really, really want to be looking to, to short because that's the, that's going to be a little bit of a mini swing trade, meaning that we're going to be looking for a move to come to 300 points on that. So that's really the big trade that's going to be that's pending. But right now we're still kind of if we take out like this 40 to 40 98 area, then then this the wave structure is going to just simply move to that was three. This was four. And we we just completed wave five. So that would that's how that changes. So we're either we completed this, but I, I don't think so because we don't really have any bearish divergences. So I think this is just some backing and filling. Uh, either we're going to find support at the 4180. 4160 area and then come up and make the wave five. That's my preferred pattern. But like I said, if we start taking out these, these, these the support right in these levels, then it, it's this is the count and, and this pattern is over. And from most likely we're going to come in down to the 3900 level. So right now, um, you know, there, it's it's fairly kind of simple. This is with what the bulls have to defend at 4184. If they lose it, we have we have the support at the 4155. But remember. We have a gap here all the way where we opened yesterday, and that's at the 41.29. So I'm I'm gonna sit there and assume that we still have one more move to the uh, to the upside before everything is said and done. But if we start taking out support, then I'm gonna say this is over, and we just look to short for the move a two three hundred point move to the downside. So I'm gonna keep this pretty short on it. Uh, there's not really too much to go over. Um, I still think the the you know the upside target is gonna be right around the. <laughs> Sorry, I still have this lingering cough. Um, but I still think the upside target is going to be somewhere around that the the forty three hundred to the, up to the forty three twenty two. And really, the main uh, the main reason I, I don't know why it's not on these charts, but on the uh, on my stock charts, that it's showing the. Uh, the forty, uh, the forty three twenty two as one of the moving averages, and that's where I do believe we're going to end. So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Um, have a great night, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.